Okay, so not too long ago I sent out a survey to my Patreon supporters to let them vote on what the next series is going to be on. And they had a, a few different options, and the voting was split between two series. One of which was uh, small web server hacks or tricks, and the other one was video editing with Blender. So we got two different ends of the spectrum there. So of course I'm going to be doing both. Uh, but first we'll be touching on the small web server tricks. So uh, on my second channel, which is the hardware channel, I'm currently working on a serial port hacking series where I'm taking apart different devices and getting uh, uh, root shells on them using the serial port. Pogo plugs, routers, modems, that sort of stuff. Uh, so be sure to check that out if you haven't. Um, but since I'm working on that and I'm going to be doing a little bit of software on that end once you get the shell, uh, I'm going to start off by having some of those videos on this channel where we set up some services on these small devices since small web servers would be a good choice to put on these devices. So after that, then we're going to get into the small web server uh, videos. It's just going to be tricks on how to get minimalistic web servers on there. You may have seen some tricks like using Netcat to serve up a web page, but I'm going to take that steps further because in most of those tutorials they're serving up one static page. I'm going to show you how to uh, create a a web page with embedded images and other things so that uh, it can all be served up with Netcat. I'm also going to show you other tricks on how to get minimalistic web servers running. So after that short series, then we'll get into the Blender video editing, where I'll go over, again, uh, I've done motion tracking, uh, but we'll do a little bit more with motion tracking, and we'll look at look, doing things called uh, pin drops or call outs in Blender using motion tracking. We'll get into camera tracking as well, but then we'll also be going over basic video editing, how to import video, uh, fade from one video to the next, how to add effects, how to change the timing, all the stuff basically that we just went over a few months ago with Caden Live, we're going to do them in Blender. So I hope you're looking forward to that and I thank you for watching. As always, visit my website filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. It's a great place to keep up to date on all my videos from both my channels. Be sure to subscribe and also check out my second channel. Have a great day.